Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I will be going over the solo arcade car duplication glitch. Guys, it just doesn't stop with these arcade glitches, man. It's awesome. Now there are a few requirements. You're going to need to be in a free aim session. You're going to need to own the MOC with the personal vehicle storage in the back. And you're obviously going to need to own an arcade. Stored in the arcade garage, you're going to need some street cars or cars you don't mind losing. Now again guys, make sure you are in a free aim session before starting. Alright guys, now that you are in a free aim and you are ready to start things off in an invite only session, you want to make sure that you have the car that you wish to duplicate stored in the back of your MOC, and make sure guys that your MOC has the personal vehicle storage in Bay 3, not the weapons workshop or vehicle workshop, whatever it is. So to check guys, go to War and Stock, go over to your MOC and go down to Bay 3. Make sure that it says personal vehicle storage. If you guys have the workshop there, it's not going to work. But anyway, now that we got that out of the way, go ahead and go in the back of your MOC and pull out the car that you wish to duplicate into the bunker and you're just going to leave it sit right there. There is no specific location that it is required to be in. Again guys, make sure you are in an invite only session. Now I will be using the uh, job teleportation glitch for this uh, video. Uh, I will be cutting out most of the travel time just to get to the point of the video. Um, however guys, trust me, believe me, whatever, this does work. Now that you've made it out into the bunker, leave your car there, go ahead and make your way outside. You can register as a CEO, call in a buzzard, or you can just steal a street car. Either way, make your way back to your arcade. Do not call in any personal vehicles or any personal aircrafts. This will mess the glitch up. Now that you've made your way back to your arcade, you want to go ahead and make your way up to the arcade if you came into the garage. Make sure this top basement door is open, however, before starting this. Now for this glitch, guys, you are going to need to own the Love Professor arcade game. It does not need to be in any specific location. Just make sure you own it and place it somewhere. Now that you're at the arcade game and you have the option in the left hand corner to press right on the d-pad, you're going to go ahead and bring up your pause menu, go down to cruise, go down to leaderboard, and go over to any of these crews, and go to view members, and you want to try to join in and on any of those members. I personally like using someone on my friends list, so that's the way I will be doing this glitch. It works either way, but if you don't have any friends or anybody in a community that's in a different targeting mode, this is a good way to do so. Either way you decide to do it, once you have the first alert, you accept that, you deny the second alert. After you've received both of those alerts, you're going to go ahead and pull up the pause menu, go to online, play jobs, Rockstar created, and start up any of these jobs. It does not matter, you simply want to receive this alert right here. After you receive that alert, you want to press right on the D-pad and remain on this screen for about 10 seconds. After doing so, you can then accept the alert. After you accept this alert, you will be frozen. Now depending on how you did this, whether you went through the cruise menu, through the pause menu, um, and joined someone there, or you joined someone on your friends list, either way it doesn't matter, just make sure you join someone again that's in a different targeting mode. Again, you're going to accept the first alert, deny the second alert. When you come back, you will still be frozen. You're going to bring up the pause menu once again, go over to online, start up another job. It does not matter. Just as long as it's a Rockstar created job, you will also receive this alert again. At this point, you're just going to accept it, bring up your pause menu again, go to online, start up purchase shark cards. Once that loads up, you are then going to back out. At this point, you will be able to move around and still have the option in the upper left hand corner to hold it circle to exit out of that game. Now once you hit everything correctly to this point, you're just going to make your way downstairs to the garage and head over to the free LRG or street car that you do not mind losing. Now once you're next to your vehicle, you just want to press triangle or Y to enter that vehicle and right as you go to sit down, you're going to press and hold circle. If done correctly, your guy will glitch out of the car. At that moment, you're just going to tap the accelerator until the screen goes black. Now I'm going to go over that with you guys again. You're going to press the button to get into it, press and hold circle. As soon as your guide disappears, you're going to tap the accelerator. One more time at full speed, you're going to press the button to get into the vehicle. As your guide goes to sit down, you're going to press and hold circle. He's going to glitch out. At that moment, you're going to tap the accelerator until the screen goes black. If done correctly, you will be put outside of your arcade on foot. 
Now that you guys have made it outside of your arcade on foot without that pesky vehicle, you're simply just going to make your way back to your bunker. Again, I use the job teleportation glitch. You can register as a CEO, call in a buzzard, steal a streetcar, anything like that. Just do not call in a personal vehicle or personal aircrafts. Now that you've made it back to your bunker and the vehicle is still sitting right where you left it, you're just going to hop into it. As you can see, my plate starts with 6-7. Once I get into the vehicle, it is then switched over to 8-5. This is now the duplicate copy, and you're just going to drive it up to the back of your MOC, press right on the D-pad, you will get the storage full alert. You just accept that alert. This duplicate copy is now stored in your MOC, and the original is stored in the arcade right where you pulled the allergy or streetcar. If this video helped you guys out in any way, please hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.